When members of the public come to one of these events, quite often it's the first time they've ever seen anything quite like this. I'm just always amazed at how a vehicle can run on its own. So you don't realise straight away that there's not a driver. You have this disconnect between what you're used to and what you're in now. There are people taking selfies, there are people smiling, pointing, social mediaing, all of that kind of stuff. It gives people a buzz. You sit and you think, well, wait a minute, nobody's driving this vehicle. I'm just sitting here with three other passengers and we're moving along. <laughs> so the vehicles we have here are self-driving, doing a swarm algorithm. We're a little family-owned business. We don't have access to academics normally. We have lots of very talented people, but we have some very specific problems. So partnering with WMG is fantastic. They have researchers looking for problems to find solutions. So our eagle came up with the idea from nature, like bees and insects that swarm. The main objective was to be more efficient. So not just with the technology, but also with costs. At WMG we created the Swarm algorithm. So RDM have lots of pods and they platoon together, but it's all about optimization. So if you're in a city and you have lots of vehicles spread around, we want them to take the most optimal route. You would have a control room where there's a supervisor monitoring. And they will ensure the safety of the vehicle. So this is a way of removing the safety driver from the vehicle and putting them in a control center. So they wanted to see if they could have one person supervising up to five pods. So that's where we came in. So this is an electric vehicle. It's fully drive-by-wire. It's got a whole load of sensors around it, so it can localise, which means it can work out where it is in the world and what way it's facing. Basically, this is a big robot. I believe there's no point creating a, a futuristic product if nobody in the future will use it. Human factors is an often underused resource. For us it's looking at products and services and how we can make them best for people to use. We do user focused design, we talk to people and we can help make it better with our evidence. So it's all evidence based. Starting this product we didn't have any sort of virtual reality systems so we had to develop that. We developed a simulation in order to explore some of these problems with users but in a safe way. In virtual reality it means you can have a pod coming close to you and then you can ask people questions. We are looking at the impact of research in innovation and new technologies and helping the businesses to get their product to market. It's obvious to me that the model we have of owning cars ourselves and using them on 10 minute trips a day is not a sustainable thing, but we love it because it gives us the independence and the convenience. And we can only replace that with independence and convenience. What I would like to see is that the technology is intuitive and available for everybody.